Congratulations. How are thank, you feeling? Thank you. I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. And, you know, with that kind of a result, I'm, I cannot enjoy better. So, yeah, I'm very happy. Is that kind of how you thought it would go, that fight? No, we know we never we never know what happened when you get in there. But like I said, when I trust myself and I tr trust my coach, uh, everything can happen. So I have all the tools, and right now I just you know I'm so confident, and I just want to improving, get, getting better, and yeah. What was your game plan going in there? It was to be you know uh, the aggression, uh, be patient and be the first. So as soon as he, ta you know, he takes my power, uh, we knew that he will maybe rush forward to the clinch or even for the takedown. That's what happened. And I show him that I'm stronger than him. And as soon as the guillotine was tight, my coach said, go, go for it, go for it, trust yourself. And yeah. Was there anything about him that surprised you? I know you weren't in there much, you know, very long with him, but was there anything about it? No. He, he did everything that we are, we are expected. So he, he came with the kicks. Um, you know, he tried to back me off. And as soon as I get comfortable in there and I let my hand go, uh, he tastes a little bit of my power. And yeah, so I'm very happy. It, it was a big night for Canadian fighters. Both of you guys have wins. Um, just a few days ago, there was a Canadian fighter said that MMA is dead in Canada. I'm wondering what your thoughts are about that. No, I don't think so. Uh, you know, we know since GSP uh, is gone, you know, it, we we have a lot of good talent, you know, good prospect in Canada. So we just need, you know, to uh, to show everybody that we're still on the map. Uh, we still fight hard. We always put on a good show, win or lo lose. So yeah, hopefully uh, uh, UFC come again in Canada and we can fight in front of our fans, so I hope so. And there were quite a few finishes tonight. Uh, how do you think yours ranked in, in terms of a bonus? We'll see. Uh, first, I uh, just you know I just want a new contract because that was the, the last fight of my contract. So yeah, uh, it was a big night for me. You know, just I accept this fight ten ten days on the short notice. So I came here well prepared. Uh, confident, so I just I showed up. I, I got the job done. Uh, it is the the, the the birthday of my my fiance tonight, so everything's perfect. So if I can uh, get the bonus, that, that will be amazing. So maybe I got a good chance. Knowing that that's the last fight on your contract, does that kind of give you a little bit of an extra a push towards a great performance? For sure, you know I, I strive for. Uh, for that, that that kind of stress, you know, and um, I'm, I'm battle tested. Uh, I think I, I I went everywhere on the, the you know the 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 bad side of, or the good side of this game. So right now, I just need to trust myself, be in the moment, and you know just enjoy the ride. And let's say you get that fifty thousand dollar bonus. What are you gonna buy your fiance for her birthday? <laughs> so right now we're still living in the in uh, our uh, our uh, small uh, trailer park uh, in, in Florida. So maybe we'll uh, got a bigger uh, bigger home. Just a, uh, not not nothing crazy, but we I do really enjoy this lifestyle. You no, know? simple and uh, but for sure. Uh, She's a she's a country girl, so maybe I will uh, bring her in uh, Nashville. She she really likes Nashville, so yeah. Awesome. And last question: When do you want to get back in there? Uh, you know, it's been uh, so the uh, I fought uh, twice in less than uh, two and a half months. So we'll see. We'll see what's what's next. Uh, if the USC needs anything, they can call me. But maybe for the summer I will. You know, it's been uh, almost a year since I, I I don't see my my family in Canada. So maybe I will I will go back just a little bit, uh, just chill with my family for the summer, and hopefully uh, at the end of the the summer or fall, we'll see. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Congrats on the big win. Thank you. You did your thing tonight. Uh, happy birthday, you know, to, uh, the Bianca. Family. Yeah, happy birthday to Bianca. You won. You look tremendous. But at 190. Do we, let's just say in the future, you're back 205 or sticking to 185? Because that one night you look great. Yeah. I know it's a catch weight, but you yeah. look good, you know. No, um, you know, I'm not the biggest middleweight, but I don't like to cut too much weight. You know, I'm, I'm comfortable with my, 
you know, my physique and everything. The, it's easy for me to do one, one, uh, 185. So, no, I don't want to go lower than uh, 185. And I, I fought 205 uh, one time in my uh, when I was in TKO. So, but UFC level, it, two of, the 205 are, you know, taller than me and a lot of reach. So, no, I think I established myself a uh, uh, good, solid uh, middleweight. So, I want to stick in the middleweight. Excellent. Sounds great. You you talked about your coach and you know you you guys having that conversation. Believe in yourself. Trust in yourself. Elaborate on that. Does that mean you're like yes, my ground game is up to par. It's just as good, if not better, than anybody's. Or does that mean your own ability or your mental strength? What do you? You know, at the end of the day, it's just me versus me. Sometimes you know, I'm I, I'm my worst uh, enemy. So as soon as you know, I have my my coach who he knows me. The, He's the better man who knows me, so I just need to, you know, uh, sometimes just remind me that I have everything that 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 uh, I have everything to 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 win a, this kind of fight. So yeah, I just need to trust myself, trust my instinct, uh, be the best version of myself, and I can do some incredible things. So yeah, excellent. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yep. I just have one follow-up. When you were talking about uh, wanting to sort of take over the mantle of MMA in, in Canada, it used to be in years past, the UFC was up there, it seemed like at every other month, you know, we're doing events. But as things sort of locked down and they weren't able to travel, how much do you think that affected, um, I guess, just the overall MMA space in, in Canada? And is it still as big to the just general population since there aren't as many events up there? I don't know. With, the, with all the pandemic, you know, the the country was very uh, everything was shut down. Uh, so it's part of is is the thing. It's one of the the thing why I moved from to Florida. You know, because at first I could not train because everything was locked down and shut down. So, but right now uh, everything started to be better so we'll see uh we have the fans there uh, and if you know me charles and the other canadian can be on the, on the same card i think we can do some great things so yeah i hope so but for long term you, you think you're, you want to stay in the states though yeah for sure yeah i want i want to stay here for a while uh, we'll see what happens next, but I do really enjoy my life in Florida. I like the the tan, I like the 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 weather, I like everything. So we'll see. But like I said, I stay loyal to my roots. I always bring my 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 my, my mentor, my coach from day one with me, and yeah, I'm feeling great. Uh, and I guess last question: Have you picked up any habits or any Florida traditions that you now find yourself doing now that you're down in the your part of the South? Uh, not yet. We'll see maybe uh, later. But, you know, I, I'm a quiet guy. I like to do my things. Uh, you know, I like to enjoy the, the when I'm in training, I train. And after I like to, you know, come and see my, my, my wife and my dogs. And we just play with the dogs at the beach. Or, But right now, I just enjoy the small things and living the dream. So you're not, not out hunting or shooting guns not, or chasing gators? Not yet. Gators. No, no, no. <laughs> Congrats on the victory. Thank you very much.